Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. A very warm welcome to today's reading because this reading is special, okay? So I am doing a different kind of a reading here where um, the topic for today's reading is what is ahead in your love life in the month of April uh, depending on what your current situation is. So pile number one is for those who are single, okay? Pile number two is for those who are in a relationship. Pile number three is for those who are separated or in a no contact situation, okay? So there are three situations and if you are not sure about your uh, situation, if you are somewhere in between, you're not sure whether you are dating this person, whether you are in a relationship or it has ended or what is your situation. If you're not clear on that uh, aspect of your current situation, then for those people, you can pick a crystal. Okay, so I hope this is clear. So pile number one is this Amazonite piece. Pile number two is this ocean jasper. And pile number three is this turquoise tumble. Okay. So for those who are not clear in what is their current status of the relationship, if it is a complicated situation, then you can go ahead and pick a crystal. For others, if you are clear about what is your current uh, status, single in a relationship or separated, you can click on any of these uh, piles okay the timestamps will be mentioned in the description box so go ahead and click on the timestamps to go directly to your chosen reading okay so let's begin with pile number one so pile number one whoever have chosen the single status okay i'll keep it here and this beautiful amazonite tumble Okay, let's find out what's coming ahead in your love life in the month of April. What's coming up for you, pile number one in the month of April? What's coming up for pile number one in the month of April? I hope you can see this. I'll keep it here. Okay. So pile number one. What's coming up for you in the month of April? Ace of Pentacles, okay, your relationship um, status is going to come to a new um, energy, okay, there is something sprouting here. For singles, if you are single and you have picked this pile, I see that you are ready for a relationship energetically, okay, you are, uh, I see that you're stepping out of your comfort zone, okay, and the universe is blessing you with a new um you know, love energy sprouting in your uh, aura. I see that you are clear in your head what you, do you want, okay? So physically, you are very, very clear. I see that you're getting that clarity of what is it that you want in your life partner? What is it that you want in a relationship? So are you are getting very clear. You see this halo around this woman's head. This is a very strong crown chakra, okay? Your root chakra is strong. Your crown chakra is strong. And I see that you are very much aligned to the universal energies to attract the right partner for you. Pile number one. Okay. What else? Three of Wands, there, is, there are a lot of potential partners that are going to approach you, okay? You are going to meet a lot of new people. I see socialization, I see expanding your uh, social circle, I see expanding your 
uh, reach to a lot of potential people who are aligned to your energies okay i see also see pile number one that you may uh, come in contact contact with someone um, who stays far away from you okay? it could be someone from a foreign land or uh, someone who stays in a different uh, country or a different state or a city so this is uh, a possibility of a contact developing into a potential relationship from a far away place okay and this is growing okay the energy is growing you are meeting new people and they are mostly they are all potential uh you know partners so we have a lot of we have more than one soulmate in our um uh life on this planet earth and um there are a lot of soulmates so whichever soulmate you are energetically aligned to at a given point of time in your life you attract uh, those people in your life so that is what i see pile number one let me pick more cards and see more the chariot yes definitely uh, you know someone approaching you from far away uh, it could be someone who is traveling for work and they get to meet you and you know things prosper from there or it could be like you are traveling somewhere okay pile number one i i definitely see uh, a situation cropping up where you get probably an opportunity from work to travel somewhere okay so you could be getting a new opportunity or you could be getting a new job opportunity if it's not a job opportunity then you are traveling for your own um purpose it could be like a holiday or something um you have some motive in mind uh for this travel that you have planned ahead okay and i see that you are getting to meet someone new during this travel okay so pile number 1 i see someone new is coming into your energy while you are on a travel related to work for most of you it is a travel related to work that you are getting to meet this person for others it could be someone who is traveling to you someone who is traveling closer to you for example you may be working in an office and someone new joins in from a different part of the country or from a different country and this person holds a lot of potential to you know uh, be close to you and you both form uh, you know bond well and get into a relationship so that is a strong strong possibility let me see what is the energy like for those of you who have chosen the pile based on this crystal and you're not sure uh, what your uh, current situation is for those of you who have chosen the amazonite so what is your energy in the month of april the hierophant i see that you are um you know you're gaining some kind of uh, wisdom on your current situation with the help of someone else okay this could be a uh, a psychic an astrologer a palmist or anyone from a spiritual realm who is helping you understand your dynamics in your love life okay so you are getting clarity you are getting to know more about yourself regarding your love life you're getting to know why is it so that certain things happen in your life in a pattern why are you stuck in a certain pattern in your love life if you are single for a long time why is it that you don't find the right partner okay so stuff like that you gain clarity you gain that understanding a very very deep wise wisdom comes to you in the form of a reading maybe or you know healing or some kind of a very wise word or a wise quote it could be a wise quote that you could just come across while 
surfing on Pinterest and it hits you. Okay, so I see that some kind of a wisdom in some form or shape hits you and you get a lot of clarity. You get basically you get the key to why your uh, relation, why your, uh, you know, your love life is so and so at this point of time. Let me dive a little deep. File number two, nine of wands. Yes, there is patterns. Okay, so I was talking about some past patterns that have been repeat that have been repetitive in your love life and has been hurting you over and over again before even before even you heal. I see that you get hurt again. Okay. For example, uh, I'm just giving a small example to make you understand the energy that I see. It's like you fall on the street and you hurt your elbow okay you hurt your elbow it's bleeding and immediately you you know put first aid on it it starts healing but the the clot starts forming okay it is not completely healed the blood has started to dry up and it has started to clot but before but you don't give it enough time to heal and you go start playing again and you fall and maybe not you don't fall as hard as you fell the last time it could be a small scratch or it could be a small something very uh you know light okay maybe you uh bang across the door or something touches the wound and you start bleeding profusely again so what I'm trying to say is if you don't give yourself enough time to heal, even a small scratch on the wound may, you know, uh, make you bleed as profusely as you were when you were initially hurt in a big way. Okay, so pile number one, I see that you are getting some kind of a wisdom that uh, that you understand why is a certain pattern repeating. Okay. Probably this pattern is repeating because you're not healing it from the core. You're not healing it from the root. Okay. And that is what you need to do. Uh, let me pick up one last card for the situation of file number one. Eight of Cups. In this situation, for this is specifically for those who have chosen on the basis of the crystal, the Amazonite, okay? For those of you, spe uh, specifically, I see that your advice here is to move away from the past, okay? Leave the past, move away from your past memories. Do not hold on to what was not fulfilling in your past relationships. You need to erase those memories. You need to heal it, let go of it, surrender, okay? If you keep thinking over and over again uh, about those uh, situations that were hurtful and painful and, uh, you know, not satisfactory, not up to the mark, uh, you will keep repeating those same energies. You will keep manifesting those same energies over and over and over again unknowingly, okay? So pile number one. If you want to get rid of a certain energy in your love life, then you will have to surrender. You'll have to leave uh, that feeling. You have to leave that emotion. Um, a way of doing it is uh, meditating and also journaling where you write out what is it that you need to uh, surrender to the universe? What is it that you need to move away from and then burn that paper? Okay, so you surrender, you burn the paper and blow them in the uh, blow the ashes in the wind. Okay, do that on a no moon night or an amavasya night so that you get rid of these um, unwanted patterns in your love life. For those of you who are single and want to understand how can you get rid of past uh, painful patterns. Okay, so that that's the energy that I see for you. Pile number one where there are two situations for some of you it is like 
you are meeting some prospective people because you have healed your past wounds okay you have gone against uh, you have gone against your emotions you have gone in the right direction you have come out of a comfort zone okay you have showed you have showed a bold move by coming out of a comfort zone and the universe is blessing you with new opportunities with your new social circle with new people approaching you and your aura is very new okay there is a lot of newness and vibrancy and uh positive potential here for you and for those of you and for the others uh i see that you need to you need to heal your past uh, wounds okay you need to come out of that past uh, pattern that you have been stuck to so that you can get to this level where you are uh, ready to manifest the person of your life okay so that was your reading pile number 1 i hope this was helpful thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for leaving such beautiful comments on my channel i really really appreciate you i'm so grateful to have all of you in my uh, in my community okay uh and i'll move on to pile number 2 so pile number 2 whoever have chosen this status of their love life in a relationship or those of you who have chosen this ocean jasper based on your current of uh, situation whether you are in a relationship or a or a single person or in a complicated relationship where you don't know how to define your situation so this is your reading and we'll start with for people those who are in a relationship and they are clear about their their status okay so pile number 2 for those who are in a relationship what is the energy like in the month of april for them what is the month of april holding for you in your love life the fool Okay the fool and the emperor I see that you are taking a huge leap of faith you're trusting your intuition and you are making a bold move okay you are making a very very bold move it could be a very bold decision that you're making in your relationship and I see that you're making this bold decision on a relationship that is stable okay pile number 2 I see that uh probably you have been dating this person for quite some time and you are are you ready to make the next move in this connection okay you're ready to leap forward you're ready to take the jump probably uh it could be that you are uh finally thinking of getting married and settled okay finally probably you are in the you're having those feelings of whether should you get settled with this person marry and get settled i'm not sure let me see yes the empress definitely this is marriage so ace of cups and the empress so yes a lot of you i see this is a couple um i see the emperor the ace of cups and the empress with the fool So pile number 2 beautiful i see beautiful energies for those of you who are in a relationship and watching this reading you are in a very blessed and you know um great you 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 are in a very blessed state of your love life okay i would say that this is a phase of your life that you will be always cherishing because you are moving uh to the next level in this relationship i see the couple here the the mighty couple the emperor and the empress together with the ace of cups in the middle it says it all okay so pile number 2 i don't need to explain this further because it it is self explanatory i see the fool the fool is all about taking that fresh leap of faith and jumping it into a new phase of your life where um you have a lot of positive hopes okay you don't you're not holding on to any past baggage you're not holding on to any uh you know hopes and expectations or anything you are just by you have just you just have that 
childlike enthusiasm and that excitement and that you know that vigor to you know jump into something new with a lot of um, excitement in your life so you are very very excited uh, with um, this new phase coming into your life where you are ready to marry this person of your dreams okay so pile number one uh, sorry pile number two for those of you in a relationship April is a gorgeous month. I see marriage happening here. Uh, it's a beautiful beginning to a new, new um, uh, step in your love life, which is stable, happy, prosperous and abundant. Okay, so pile number two for now, for those of you who have chosen this ocean jasper and you're not sure about your status, whether you are in a relationship or is it working out, whether this relationship is stable whether whether it is a relationship at all or is it just in your head no matter what the situation whether it's a third party situation whatever so being in a relationship but in a complicated situation for those of you let me find out what's happening in the month of april for you what's happening for those of you in the month of april your love life in the month of April for pile number two. The star. Wow. You have this destiny by your side. Okay. For this pile, pile number two, whoever have chosen pile number two, there is only, only, only lots of positivity coming your way. Okay. The star is like telling you that you can hope for the best. Okay, the destiny is by your side. You are guided by the stars. You are shown the light by the stars. And um, there is a lot of dream fulfillment here, which is happening in the month of April. So if you are dating someone, if you are, um, if you have just met someone and you feel that energy of, you know, connecting instantly, then you know that this is your person. Okay, I see. For those of you who are in a confused state of mind, you will get the clarity that this is your person. Okay, Queen of Wands, I see that you are getting a lot of uh, attention from the opposite sex. So if you are, uh, you know, dating someone, you will be very, very uh, appreciated and desired by uh, like the people you are dating you have that very magnetic charismatic aura around you where you know people are flocking to you like people who are aligned to your energy are flocking to you okay you 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 attract the right kind of people uh, people are like uh, if you are a beautiful woman i see that your aura is so magnetic uh, most i see that this uh, you could be mostly uh, this sign of, uh, you know, fire sign. I see a lot of fire sign people who are attracting a lot of attention. So you could be a Leo, Aries or a Sagittarius and you will be noticed in a crowd. OK, you will uh, stand out in a crowd. You will be noticed by a lot of people and um, you are getting Basically, I see you getting a lot of attention. So the star and the queen of wands is like you are the star of the show. You are the star of someone's eyes. You are the apple of someone's eyes. Someone's eyes just twinkle when they see you or, they, or when they think of you. So you are someone's star. You are someone's um, queen. Okay. One last card for pile number two. Wow, ten of cups. Oh my goodness. All the positive cards have ended up here in this pile in this pile. Pile number two. Okay, so the star, the queen of wands, and to end the reading is the ten of cups. So for those of you who are wondering whether you are in a you are in a relationship or um, you're not sure of your relationship, whether it is a long lasting one. It is a long lasting one. This person is going to approach you very soon, come back to you very soon or um, tell you that they have 
very strong feelings for you pile number two because i see that um they value you and they find you extremely attractive extremely beautiful um you know the sight of you brings a twinkle in their eyes and it gives them a lot of fulfillment i see that this energy of fulfillment is mutual okay you guys um you guys connect on a very deep emotional level so there is a lot of strong heart to heart bond and also a lot of physical uh, attraction so pile number 2 very very beautiful energies april is a very lucky month for you for those of you who have chosen pile number 2 for those who know that you are in a relationship you're definitely getting married or you know getting proposed or getting into getting engaged or some kind of a commitment level where uh, you get to know the you know stability of your relationship and you're entering a new phase of your love life and for those of you who are not sure and are dating someone i see that this is a very very romantic period of your life uh, if you're dating someone new then you will be on uh, on cloud cloud 9 okay you will be on the seventh sky you will be on the top of the clouds on top of the you know clouds and you'll have that feeling of excitement and emotional fulfillment and getting complimented all the time you know a very very um exciting phase of your life where you're enjoying this attention around you okay and there is a very very strong positive uh, future in this connection that you're asking about so april overall pile number 2 this is an extremely lucky month for you okay i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section how it resonated and thank you so much for all the support that you bring on this channel the beautiful comments that you write the super thanks i am so thankful that so so many so many of you are so generous and uh click the thanks button and offer me uh you know uh some kind of a financial boost to help me keep posting such nice uh long format videos because it takes a lot of time and effort for me to you know post these readings every day and yes if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe because i post uh such long format videos every single day okay and thank you so much for your time let's move to pile number 3 So pile number 3 whoever have chosen this um uh, situation the status or in their love life separated or no contact okay so if you are separated in your relationship or you have no contact with your partner then this is your pile and also for those of you who have chosen this uh, turquoise crystal based on your situation if you're not sure of whether you're separated or you're not in no contact or you are you know ghosted by someone what is your situation you don't know and you have chosen this pile okay so let me start with people who are sure of their situation they are clear about the situation that you are separated and you have no contact with your person okay starting with pile number 3 so pile number 3 who have clarity on their situation of being separated or no contact what's coming ahead in the month of april for you pile number 3 what's coming ahead in the month of april for you the empress okay i see that without even doing anything without even approaching this person pile number 3 i see that you will uh, receive attention and some uh, some message which from the from your person which uh, which which tells you that they miss you they want to come back to you they want to be with you and they miss you okay so starting with this energy ahead let's see what's coming up so if you are separated or in a no contact situation there is good news ahead by number 3 this month in the month of april um destiny okay the fates i see destiny is at play okay 
and the universe is favoring you pile number three the universe is favoring you i see that if probably most of you it could be like a third party situation okay you are separated or or in a no contact situation because of a third person's involvement here in your situation it could be a love triangle situation or interference of a mother-in-law or interference of a sister-in-law or interference of any friend who has caused this issue between you both and you have separated or and or in a no contact zone so pile number three i see that the destiny is playing its role and you are um you without doing anything the person uh you're asking about is coming back to you and um asking for your uh for your hand okay so the star followed by the empress and the star with the destiny in between that your feminine power is very very strong okay your receptive power is very strong i don't want to um uh, focus on on feminine uh your uh, like the feminine side because it, you could be a man or a woman uh listening to this reading as it is a group reading but i see that your receptive energy is very strong your attractive energies are very strong you are manifesting uh what you desire very very skillfully without actually taking any action because the destiny is at play and the universe itself is doing all the work for you okay so you are like a shining star and you are like the light and you know the butterflies and the you know the insects are getting drawn to you so you are attracting the person uh, you're asking about your partner towards yourself without taking any action so if you are uh, in a separation or a no contact pile number 3 i would say that you can expect this person to come back to you and show you uh, love and appreciation and express to you how much uh, you mean to them in their lives how much importance uh, you hold in their lives okay so you are getting a lot of importance you are getting a lot of attention from your person if you are in a separated situation seven of cups i see that um this entire situation will also give you a lot of mixed feelings like uh it will happen so quick and suddenly that you will not know how to approach or how to take this forward it's like i see feeling overwhelmed i i feel that you might feel that um you're not sure whether to take this person back or what to do should you uh, stay away and you know figure out uh take your time to figure out something else or uh, do you want to forgive this person or do you want to get back to this person even if the per person ap approaches you and apologizes for what they have done or uh, you know expresses their romantic feelings for you to come back to you in this relationship so i see that you have a lot of mixed feelings although things are working in your favor although you are happy that you know um things are changing the situation at hand is changing but still you will have that uh confusion okay that is what i wanted to say you have some kind of confusion going on in the situation so you need to clear your mind okay you need to clear your mind because pile number 3 the i see the empress energy and i see that although you are in a no contact or separated situation you are actually not missing this person okay you are strong in yourself you are happy with yourself you are happy in your own me time energy where you are not dependent on this uh, you know waiting energy of this person you are not waiting for this person to come back okay uh you don't really feel the need of this person coming back into your life but uh just because you have surrendered it to the universe just because you have uh found the you know found um a balance and found a feeling of peace and stability in your own aura i see that the universe is blessing you with this choice of uh, whether you want to accept this person back in your life
okay so that is the change of wheel that is happening because you worked on your energy because you changed your energy you are no more desperate for this person the situation is changing and uh, this person is approaching you for uh, a second initiation of contact for those of you who have chosen the crystal okay the turquoise um depending on your situation like you're not clear whether you are in a separation or you're in a no contact probably it's a complicated situation probably you never met this person you could be an online dating situation and this person uh messages you one day expresses uh something romantic and they are um, they are vanished and you are wondering what's what's happening ahead so situations like this okay so you don't know whether you are in a relationship or you are single or you are separated no contact not sure okay there is a lot of uh, confusion in your situation so for those of you let's find out what's happening oh my god in the month of april i see that month of april is going to be chaotic for you maybe a lot of things are happening because there's a lot of cards that just fell on their own before even i get got started with it so let me give this a good shuffle pile number 3 for those of you who are not sure on the situation what's coming ahead in the month of april what's coming ahead in the month of april 10 of pentacles and 5 of cups Okay, five of cups, and I see that pile number three. For those of you uh, who are not sure of their situation, I see that you have been um, you have been still on your current situation for so long that you have uh, kind of you know merged with the energy. For example, in this picture, I see that this this girl is wearing this green dress, and she has been standing in this position for so long that she has merged. The green grass has grown, and she has outgrown this dress. Okay, she has merged with her surroundings. Okay, her green dress has faded, and. you know she has merged with the energy of the surroundings it's like you're standing still for so long that you have made your uh situation you have aligned to your situation and that's not a good thing because you're not growing you are not moving forward okay and what's happening in the month of april that you're leaving that uh energy and coming out of it okay so for those of you who are in a marriage or for those of you who are in a relationship or in a contact or in a love relationship or any kind of a uh you know a connection where you have been uh, stagnant for quite some time okay you have outgrown it okay you have given it enough time now is the time to step out of it okay there is there is a feeling of grief there is a feeling of unhappiness there is a feeling of discontentment there is a feeling of sadness okay uh i see that you are leaving this energy you're leaving this energy and you are looking at um a different aspect in your life okay you are moving out of the stagnant energy uh this is kind of a complicated relationship where things are not moving ahead okay pile number 3 it's stagnant it's still what's out what is the outcome what is the outcome of this connection king of swords I see that you have to make your heart stronger and take a bold move to completely cut off this connection because this connection is heading nowhere and it is only dragging you deeper into an energy of 
despair, unhappiness, and grief. Okay, so pile number three, I see that you yourself are initiating this uh, separation. It is difficult, but that's the right uh, choice ahead. Okay, because your situation that you're surrounded by is, you know, is making you feel trapped, is making you feel heavy. It's making your energy drain. You're feeling drained, exhausted, tired, and you just want to take a fresh breath of air and come out of this uh, energy of that this energy that you have been trapped since ages okay it could be a long term marriage which has the current energy which is going uh, like this so the right move ahead pile number 3 is that you need to hold the sword and you need to make a decision uh, based on your intellect okay not based on your heart but on your intellect you have to be rational and you have to make the right move ahead to come out of this stagnant and this unsatisfactory situation four of pentacles i see that you're holding on to it for no reason okay you are weighing two choices neither of which have anything good for you okay it's as simple as that you're holding on to it for no reason at all pile number three you are weighing you are trying to find out which is which option is better and trying to weigh your sides pros and cons of you know staying in this relationship and there's nothing which this relationship can offer you okay it's like you're choosing between a dead tree and a sad book. Okay, you're choosing. You are making a choice between a dead, uh, leafless, dark tree, which has no leaves on it, and or a book which is full of sadness and tears and probably not even well written. Okay, so... That is what your energy is. So you need to move out of this energy and April is a month that you will make this bold decision about. Although this is difficult, although you will be grieving on it, although you will be, you know, probably in, you might indulge in, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, addictives could be alcohol or smoking or something like that. But you might take the crutch of something else but you are going to come out of this energy because this current energy is draining you out it's not giving you what you need to make to live a fulfilled life ahead pile number three okay so that was your reading pile number three i hope this was helpful thank you for your time for watching this and giving me so much of love on my channel thank you for the subscriptions for the follows, for the love and all the comments that you write, the beautiful comments that I receive on my channel is so, so heartwarming. Okay. And I love you all. Take care and I'll see you very soon in another pick a pile reading. Okay. Till then, take care. Bye bye.